Hello there, welcome to the Egg and Gear Show. Now it's raining quite heavily outside today, so I thought I'd do this inside. And I am quite excited, seeing as I know what's inside this box, but I haven't seen it yet. I know it's been checked in the shop where I've just collected it from, but I am very keen to look inside. And I collected it from Braces in Bristol. And they're a good little gun shop. And I've got my cup of coffee, which brings the fear of God into most of you, because that means that I'm probably going to talk for the next 20 minutes. <sighs> well, you're wrong, because I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible, because I've been told before, don't talk rubbish for 20 minutes. We don't want to listen to you. That's fine. It's just like my wife, but that's no problem at all. So I'm simply going to carry on and tell you what's in the box. Now, as I said, I've collected it from braces today. Very excited. Saw this late last year, and I've been waiting to get my hands on it ever since then. Now, this is the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter, I hope, and it's in 177 caliber. And it's been waved around quite a bit over sort of, you know, the last few months, different videos and different people and whatever, but I finally got one to have a look at. So, I am gonna test it quite heavily. So I've got my scalpel. Ta-da! Now, it's more like a craft knife, but let's be honest, that's all I could find. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the box. Now, um, I know it's been checked in store, um, but I haven't seen it yet. So here we go. So, let's have a look. So as you know, there is quite a waiting time on one of these. And so we've all been waiting quite a while. So that end's already undone. And that end's undone. So I guess it's just those two. Right. Here we go. Now, I'm going to be careful because this is quite sharp. and We don't want to scratch the gun. So I'm going to turn it the other way up. There we go. And I'm going to slice it that way because I don't want to touch the gun inside. There we go. Put that over there next to my cup of coffee, which I'm going to have some more of. And are you ready? Okay. That way around. the box properly Giles but I'm doing it in reverse so that actually you guys see it before I do so yes I'm probably not opening it the best way Ooh, look at that can you see that I can actually the closest I can actually see it is in the reflection of the camera so there we go so look at that there we are air arms s510 ultimate sporter very nice Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna put my scalpel down there. More coffee. I know, I'm not editing it while I drink my coffee. Coffee's very important, it's good for you. There's some left. All right, so we've got the box out and we're gonna, I guess, just pop this end off. There's something in the end there. Slide him off there. Gently, gently, and slide them off there. Now, this one is brand spanking new, I can tell you. I know that for a fact. And there we have it. Look at that. It looks very nice, doesn't it? S510 Carbine Ultimate Sporter. It says on the side. Use that. If I spin that round, it says that just there as well. Okay. So, side lever action, as on a normal S510. Uh, 10 shot magazine has the silencer which apparently is tuned specifically for 177 caliber and you've got the adjustable stock and it's also got from what I can see mounting point sling swivel studs already on there and that adjustable stock looks yeah I'm not so sure about that can't see quite how you adjust that straight away, but there's an Allen key there for the cheek piece. I'm going to bring the gun up. We can obviously see that it's straight out of the box. Very nice. Initial thought, that's a bit sharp for me. I might try and round that off 
we'll do something with that because that is actually i got a big fat face but that is quite sharp so there we go so we'll see how we do on that looks absolutely the stock looks fantastic so you've got all that obviously standard air arms filling system on there and okay you've still got the I mean, that spring really under the trigger is quite prominent that little spring I know that's been something which has been around for a while anyway there we go safety on the trigger there we are right very nice things full studs fully adjustable nice looking stock not a hundred percent perfect just there and you've also got that's quite nice that's a new filling gauge on the bottom which you'll see more of in the review okay so there's the rifle there we go let's put that down there and let's see what else we get in the box now open all these up I'm trying to beat my record of 20 minutes which was on the BSA gun Ooh. inside I've got some free Napier air gun power oil there we go see inside there now I've used that before um, it's power air gun oil okay so that's for oiling your gun it's not it's not pellet oil okay so that's for oiling your gun let's know what you think of that is that any good should I use it is the question before I go pouring it on the rifle then we've got something wrapped up scalpel here we go and we've got in here let's cut that open very delicately we have got folded up held in with a bit of black tape brown packing tape Put a scalpel there. in there we have got there's another magazine you get two magazines very good and you've got a set of allen keys which are obviously for adjustments and the air filling adapter I'm going to put those down there. Second magazine. So let's have a look at that magazine a bit closer. Now, okay, so here we go. So it's the same Air Arms 10 shot magazine. Um, it's just got a black plastic coating on the top. Um, I've seen these being made in the factory, um, and obviously it's just different colour bit of plastic on the top. Um, yep, same sort of system. So we've got that there. Okay, so if I've got two mags, it's an ultimate sporter. Where does my second mag go on the gun? Because I know they do that on some other models. Hmm, okay. I'll come back to that. I don't see that for a second. But that would be nice to be able to take, if you get your two mags, because I've just done the hats angulation and they did the magazine which sat in the stock so let's see we'll have a look at that later perhaps that one goes in your pocket so there we are so i've got in there i've got my toolkit i've got my mags i've got my free power oil, which is very nice but do let me know what everyone thinks of that and then we've got down this end okay we've got a gun security kit which you know nice padlock comes with the hooks and eyes and everything so you can screw that into a wall fit that somewhere that's i like those i mean i know you know you got to abide by the law take care of your rifle and that sort of thing but it is good that those come in the packet because it is you know it is a little extra that someone would turn around and start charging you a lot of money for so the fact that it comes in the bag in the box with with the rifle we like that well done everyone or you can just put it in a lockable cupboard or something like that so I'm pretty sure that's done we'll unroll all this because you never know there we go that's done I thought it was a mark on the stop which is a bit of dust and then we've got in here 
Got user's handbook for uh, S510 standard models. My silencer looks different to the one that's on there. So there we go, so we get that in there. Um, oh, warranty card. And, which I hope I'll never need. Uh, uh, weapons brief guide to safety, so that's the home office thing for here in the UK, which is standard information that goes in. That's lovely. And then the handbook, flicking through the handbook. There we go. I did that, which is which is lovely. That's fantastic. I wonder if that's downloadable on the internet. Um, I really like the when we did the BSA unboxing video. They include all their um, manuals on a CD when it comes through. Now CD is a sort of old hat because a lot of computers don't have them nowadays. But I do like the idea of the fact that you know you can look at it electronically, because particularly sort of like if you're out in the field or something like that. A lot of you have smartphones now, and it's great if you could just think, well, hang on a minute, I need to just check something or I've got a problem. And, you know, it can be a worry before you get back to the vehicle or, you know, get off your permission or whatever you're doing. And it would be great to make sure that you can see the handbook online. So I'll check that out. But other than that, it's a nice printed handbook. So there we go. There we are. And this is 177 caliber Ultimate Sporter. First impressions. Um, very nice, very, very nice. Um, I'm going to test it against a standard S510 um, because I wonder if the action is uh, pretty similar to a standard S510. So we'll, we'll test that out um, and see how we get on with that. But no, looks like an absolutely lovely bit of kit. So let's wait for the review and see how we do. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.